いえ多分来ないでしょう来ないでしょう来ないでしょう In his reply, we find the plain negative form of kuru used with de s h o u don't we? In other words, the plain counterpart of kimasen is konai. The plain negative form of verbs is needed to talk about negative probability. We've made a list of some negative verbs here, and you can see that they all end in nai. Now, let's use those same scenes again and have you tell what Minesan will probably do. Minesan will probably do. Minesan will probably do. You answer her in Kaiho san's place. We'll have her ask the question once more, and then you answer that Minesan probably will go. Minesan will probably do. たぶん行くでしょうたぶん行くでしょう OK? This time when she asks, answer that m i n e s a n probably won't go. m i n e s a n もプールへ行くでしょうかたぶん行かないでしょうたぶん行かないでしょう Let's go on to the next one. Answer Sunihara san's question in the affirmative and go ahead and include tabun. Mine san mo tennis o suru de shou ka? Tabun suru de shou. Tabun suru de shou. Now answer in the negative. Mine san mo tennis o suru de shou ka? たぶんしないでしょう。たぶんしないでしょう。And finally, let's work with the verb for come. First, answer her in the affirmative. みねさん、来るでしょうかたぶん来るでしょう。たぶん来るでしょう。Were you able to say, he'll probably come? Then this time, answer in Japanese that he probably won't come. Mine-san, kuru de shou ka? Tabun konai de shou. Tabun konai de shou. I hope that didn't give you too much trouble. Let's go on to another scene from our story about Yan. まだ富士山は見えませんかい,いえもうそろそろ見えるでしょうほら見えましたよあそこにまだ富士山は見えませんかい,いえもうそろそろ見えるでしょうほら見えましたよあそこに An important new word appeared in this scene. Let's take up the three sentences that contain it one by one. まだ富士山は見えませんかまだ富士山は見えませんか This means, isn't Mount Fuji visible yet? Here's the reply. いえ、そろそろ見えるでしょう。いえ、そろそろ見えるでしょう。そろそろ means pretty soon. So the whole thing means no, but we'll be able to see it pretty soon. This is the form used for making suppositions about the future, isn't it? And finally, ほら、見えましたよ。ほら、見えましたよ。This means, look, it's come into view. ほら、incidentally, is a word that's used to get people's attention and point things out. Each sentence that they just repeated for us contains a form of the verb mieru. If you listened carefully, you probably noticed that I used three different English translations for this word in just three sentences, and you may be wondering what it really means. Well, actually, mieru is used when something comes into view and thus is seen. 
Its translation, then, depends on the situation, and it's not possible to give any one English equivalent. Ba. Bi. Bu. Be. Bo. Pa. Pi. Pu. Pe. Po. Today, let's find out how the pronunciation of the letters ha, hi, hu, he, and ho changes when additional marks are added. When two little marks appear at the upper right, the syllable begins with the B sound. And when a little circle is added at the upper right, the syllable begins with a P sound. Ha. Ba. Ba. Bang. Pa. Pa. He, B, B, Bing, P, P, N, P, T, F, B, 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 N. べべ食べるぺぺいっぺんほぼぼぼうし To close today, let's take another look at the first part of our new episode about Jan. Listen carefully for sentences which contain speculation about the future. ええ、高速道路は空いているでしょう。ええ、お昼前に着くでしょう。